This group of robbers had just finished ransacking the vault, and on the way back, the bald man at the head of the group, ready to kill the first cooperation Jason. He gave the driver a wink and immediately locked the car door. The long-haired one understands. He reached for his gun directly. The three men in the car were all Baldi's men. They thought they could kill Jason this time. Jason realized that the situation was not good. A direct elbow strike knocked out the little flathead. He blocked Longhair's attack. The driver was shot during the struggle. The car went out of control. It was about to crash into a tree. Bald head had to control the car first. Then Longhair shot again. Angry Jason directly grabbed the gun. At him is a mortar and pestle gun. Bald head control of the car after. Directly at the back of Jason shot twice. Jason kicked the door straight out, then quickly jumped out of the car to escape. But he was shot twice. He was unable to get up. Bald head struggled to stop the car out of control. Let the little flathead out of the car to deal with Jason. The little flathead cowardly afraid to kill, but was forced to do so. Had to go to Jason and put a bullet in front of him. And kicked his body into the ditch. They thought Jason was dead, so they just walked away. As the strongest fighter in history, how could he die like this? An old couple passing by found Jason on the side of the road. When they got out of the car to check and found Jason was still alive, with the help of his family, carried him to the tractor and took him to the nearest hospital. When Jason woke up again, he was already in the hospital. His gunshot wound brought in the police. He had strangled a nurse, changed into his clothes, pushed the wheelchair. Then he strolled out in front of the police and secretly drove the hospital ambulance, arrived at a safe place. He used the medicine in the ambulance to give himself simple treatment. He intended to drop the matter and look for a secure job. But when he thought back to what had happened to him, he vowed that he would kill the bald gang. After recovering his strength, he went to a hotel and pried open the door to see no one inside. He washed the blood off his body. Then he changed his clothes. He robbed a check cashing station with no money. And then Jason got a new ID. He contacted his father-in-law. He asked his father-in-law how he could find the bald guys. After his father-in-law found out what had happened, hastily persuaded Jason to give up, because the Little Flathead's uncle is the boss of the Chicago mob. If they touch Little Flathead, they are self-destructive. But Jason is a tough guy who has never been afraid, even if the ground three feet will find them. Father-in-law saw that he could not persuade, had to tell the whereabouts of the Little Flathead brother. A revenge war officially began. The strongest combatant Jason Statham began to make things happen again. This time, he was attacked by a fellow fighter in an operation. Not only did he take his rightful reward, and almost cost him his life. After learning the address of the little flathead brother from his father-in-law, Jason went to the bar and easily killed the doorkeeper. He walks right in. He asked about the whereabouts of the little flathead. At this moment, the little flathead's brother still looks defiant. He told the security guard to kick Jason out. Jason knocked the guard down with three punches and two kicks, then grabbed a chair and pinned him down, facing death. He told Jason that little flathead's group had gone to Florida to start a big job. After getting the information he wanted, Jason came here alone. He was going to do a mantis to catch a bird in the back. Jason first disguised himself as a wealthy man. He found May, a second-hand real estate agent here. He asked May to take him around the island on the pretext of buying a luxury house. From May's mouth, he learned that there is an ordinary bungalow just sold for one, two million. This aroused Jason's suspicion. He sneaked into the house at night. Sure enough, he found Baldi and the others gathered here. He sneaked into the house while the group was out for dinner. He had two guns under the dining table. Then he went to the garage and found their weapons and destroyed all the firing pins. When Jason was about to leave, May showed up in his car. May who has seen a lot of people, already saw something unusual about Jason. She found out that he was a fake rich man. May was already in a very difficult financial situation, wanted Jason to buy a suite to earn a commission. Now it's a total loss. Even the car loan was not going to be paid. She was desperate. She wanted Jason to take her with her to make money. Jason needed a helper, seeing that May had no problem, so he agreed to her request. The next day May learned, a rich man here was going to hold an auction of $75 million worth of jewelry. After Jason heard about it, then he knew that several people were here for this auction. With May's guidance, Jason and the two men went to the auction to check out the situation. Through the fence, they found the bald guy and others. Then he asked May to go back first and he went back to the hotel. Unexpectedly a killer suddenly rushed out. A knife stabbed Jason. Jason fought back. After a life and death struggle, Jason was wounded. Finally on the balcony kicked the killer down. The killer turned out to be sent by the brother of the little flathead. Early the next morning, the police came to May's house, asking her about Jason. It turned out that, the police found May's card in Jason's room. May didn't know what was going on at first, but when she found the blood in the sink, and the dog's bloody footprints, she realized that Jason was hiding here. Although a little panicked, but she managed to get rid of the blood and get rid of the police without making a sound. He rushed to check Jason's injuries. Jason gave him a number. He told him to go out and call and give the address. Then he went to work as usual. This beautiful woman actually fell in love with the strongest fighter Jason Statham. After May's phone call, she felt anxious, so she immediately rushed home to check Jason's injury. Saw his girlfriend skillfully treating Jason's wounds. Apparently his girlfriend is used to this kind of situation. And in order not to draw attention to himself, Jason's girlfriend took care of the wound and left the place. A few days later, the auction was held as scheduled. 
There was a huge crowd of rich and famous people. The little flathead was driving the yacht on the outside to check the situation. And the bald man and others disguised as firefighters waiting for the right moment. Soon after the auction started, the sound system, which bald man and others had tampered with in advance, suddenly exploded. The scene was filled with smoke and chaos. The little flathead saw the situation quickly informed bald head to act immediately. Then, bald man and others with a fire truck quickly arrived at the scene and immediately blocked off the place. They walked into the venue openly. They put all the valuable jewels into bags. Then they took out the diving equipment hidden in the basement. They went to the beach through an underground passage. Diving into the water under the eyes of the police, they managed to escape from the place. When the Rayal firefighters arrived, they found that the jewelry had been looted. The police immediately sealed off the island and began to check all the vehicles closely. By now, Jason had already infiltrated Baldi's lair. When he saw the bald guys coming back happily, he knew they had gotten it. Jason hid and waited for the right moment. But at that moment May worried about Jason's safety. She came to the window to see what was going on inside. When the bald man poured the jewelry on the table, May was stunned. At that moment the little flathead found her. Bald man checked May's phone and panicked instantly. He realized that Jason was here. He told the others to search for Jason's whereabouts. He continued to question May. When long hair searched the outside, Jason's throat was sealed with a knife. He died instantly. Then Jason sneaked into the house to rescue May, but he was discovered by bald man. The two instantly wrestled together, and at that moment May took out the pistol under the table in the confusion. The fat man was killed with a single shot. With Jason's excellent skills, in the struggle between the two men to gain the upper hand, successfully killed the bald man. In the confusion, the little flathead hijacked May, but Jason didn't panic at all, because he knew that the gun in Flathead's hand, he bit the firing pin. This is the end of all four people. Jason finally got his revenge. Six months later, Jason arrived in Chicago. He pushed open the door to his office. Inside was the boss of the Chicago mob. He saw the bodyguard lying on the floor. He knew something was wrong, so he offered money in exchange for his life. But Jason told him he didn't need the money. A few days later May received two boxes by courier. She opened them and saw that they were full of dollars. May was overwhelmed with joy. Jason really did not break his promise. 